Yo, what is going on you guys? John Shea here from the No Shame Income channel. Um, here what I wanted to do for one of my first videos back for uh, first time in a few months, I actually wanted to do a product review for a tool called ConvertTree. So this is a landing page software that you can use for building sales funnels, landing pages, um, pretty much everything that you could need to really sell online products, services, um, do lead generation, all the things that you would really need. This is very comparable to software like ClickFunnels or um, Thrive Themes, uh, Thrive Architect software. And uh, again, there's many other tools out there that can do similar features, but um, I actually ended up, um, give you a little backstory on this. It was in um, 2018, mid 2018, I actually was in a Facebook group where one of the founders of this company, I think his name was Andrew, actually decided to run a contest and he asked people to go and submit their current landing pages that they were using for you know whatever it is they're doing online. So I submitted a sales page for one of my biggest courses, uh, the SEO Consulting Blueprint, and I had just converted the sales page from a ClickFunnels template into Thrive Architect. And visually, the Thrive Architect um, you know, new sales page looked amazing, right? Like it just the template was much better. Um, I liked the visual look and feel of it. Everything about it was better. So <clears throat> I actually submitted that new version and lo and behold, I had never done like any speed tests on it to see if it loaded slow, anything like that. And it actually scored worse than all of the other submissions that had been submitted. I think he took like 10 of them and decided to compare them against all the different builders. Some people were on ClickFunnels, some people were using WordPress plugins, whatever it was. And um, I ended up basically winning the contest because I had the worst, um, basically the slowest loading sales page of all the sales pages and um, I won an agency account of ConvertTree. So I basically on a $300 a month plan that I won for all of 2019. So I said, you know what, why don't I give this software a fair chance? I obviously have um, a paid copy of it now. I can go and start playing with it. And I uh, figured what I do is go through kind of the homepage, show you what some of the features are. Maybe I'll pull up their comparison table and then I'll log in and show you some of the pages that I've built as well as the editor, uh, the ease of use. And then I'll kind of lay out some of my own pros and cons um, in terms of how this might stack up against tools like ClickFunnels or Thrive Architect or maybe some of the others that are out there. So their kind of um, flagship, I guess you could call it like their catchphrase, is build faster pages, sell more products. So really simple. Um, they have a lot of stuff that really is, they're trying to stand out with the faster low times. Fastest pages on the internet giving you better conversions and more profit. Uh, they do have a 14-day free trial. Um, again, you can really create any sort of like advanced sales funnel. You could do webinars, you could sell software, info products. You could do like free shipping offers if you're selling physical products. Um, pretty much anything you could do with most of the modern landing page builders you're gonna be able to do with ConvertTree. Um, the landing page builder is all completely drag and drop. In fact, it's much more open-ended than any of the competitors that I've actually looked at so far. And there's a lot of pros and cons to it. Um, I'll kind of break that down when we start showing that, but it is a really awesome um, tool that they've designed. Whereas, you know, some of the other ones that, you know, you go and start utilizing that you have to kind of like drop things where they lie and you just sort of have to move them as they go. So it can become a little bit more challenging. Whereas this is actually something where, you know, if you want something to be in a very specific place, you can literally move it there. So I'll show you guys that in a bit. Uh, they have mobile specific pages, which will allow you to create, you know, high converting pages for mobile. Um, again, very, very fast. If you want to build websites or do something more than just a page or several pages, you could in reality build out an entire website with this. Um, they give you the ability to track conversions, you know, knowing, you know, how many people landed on this page, signed, you know, gave you an email address. All that stuff is tracked within their tools. So that's really beneficial. Um, and again, you can also sell products through their software. So... Uh, if you want to create upsells, set up subscriptions, trials, bump offers, all that stuff is inside of ConvertTree. So you don't have to go and like buy this other cart solution or set up something else if you don't want to. Um, so yeah, that's that's more or less the gist of the bulk features. I'm not going to go through everything here, uh, but why don't we log in and I'll kind of just show you a little bit about how this is actually set up. So uh, I think I had made a change, which unfortunately I'm not sure how to how to change back is some of my, my fonts and everything is, is very, very small. So if you guys can't read this, I do apologize. But generally what we've got here is you've got your funnel name. So you can create a funnel like for whatever project you're working on. So here was one I built for a business I was working on. I actually moved this over from ClickFunnels. Um, the business was iMold. So basically I have iMold funnel 
And within that funnel, I can create different pages that are utilized for that uh, setup. So I'm actually gonna show you um, a couple of variations. So this is one that I made where basically you have a, a simple layout here initially where you can kind of see what's going on with all your different pages and how they connect with one another. So this is a really simple one. We just have an opt-in page and a thank you page. So you can see the arrow just goes next. Um, if we edit this, I'll kind of show you how the editor looks and maybe we'll come back and I'll show you some more of the functionality around creating these and templates, things like that. But what I wanted to show you is more or less the editor. So here you can see our, our editor is um, really very easy to use. Literally every single thing on this page we can go in and edit. So if I want to you know, modify this text box, I can literally drag and drop this anywhere I want it to be. It doesn't like have to fit in like above this other text box or to the left of it or the right of it or underneath it. I can literally, you know, if I want it to be here, I could do that. And as you're moving this, it'll actually give you kind of like snap grids. So it makes it easy to figure out like where does this align with other things that are on the page. So one thing I do really, really love about this builder is I can pretty much move things where I want. Like if I want this to be, you know, just slightly up or down, I can do that. I don't have to like click this object, go into like a properties window and then like start tinkering with these little arrow buttons and trying to move it up or down or left or right or get things to look the way I want. Um, this just makes it very, very easy. So if you look over on the left, um, more or less fairly easy. These are all the options of things that I can add. So I could add like text blocks, images, different form elements. If I want to do like an opt-in form like we have here at the bottom, um, you can add panels, you can do separators, you know, to separate different pieces of content. You can add media like video. Uh, you could add a countdown timer. This is fairly basic in functionality. Uh, I ended up finding that I did try using that countdown timer on a sales page and ultimately I found that I needed to use a more advanced tool like deadline funnel for what I was looking for. Um, you have HTML elements, so if you want to add really anything HTML, you can do that. Facebook comments, and then they do have their own quiz um, integration with one of their own tools. So within each element, you can click in and then you've got um, all of your fonts, colors, all the stuff across the top, alignment, all that good stuff. And then you can also change general, you know, general properties, like maybe I want to add a link to some of the highlighted text. I could do that here within these general properties, set background, colors, all the different things, shadows that I would need to modify. Um, in terms of some of the other options, if you look up at the top, you can go in and change page options. Like maybe I want to change my SEO tags. Um, maybe I want to remove like that the page is powered by ConvertTree. You know, all these different just extra options you have here. If you want to add custom code, all of that stuff is in here for you. Um, you've also got the ability to add specific products. So you can come in here and actually add your products. Uh, build this out and they give you all the different things that you would need to build this out you know your checkout details contact address payments cart abandonment all that stuff is integrated into this for you so um, pretty slick um, gives you a lot of options in terms of what you want to do so I'm actually just going to save and close that um, you can play around with the display you can do different things in terms of like how the um, entire layout is set up so I could like enable this grid mode and you can see this will give me a better idea of maybe how things are visually presented. Um, I can see all the different elements separated in this um, element outline. And again, you could choose to have different things like snap in as you're trying to place certain objects so things will look good as you're kind of working with it. Um, so yeah, one of the biggest things I would say, I'm actually gonna back out of this and I'm gonna make a new one for you guys. And I wanted to show you some of the templates and things that they have. So we can actually import a funnel or we can create a new one. And we'll do a little test import towards the end of this, but I want to create a new funnel and show you some of the templates they have. Um, you can see here, we've got a few different ones that they've given you by default. So you can create a lead gen funnel. Um, they've got an info funnel, a software funnel, webinars, free plus shipping, an adventure funnel, um, a diet one, mobile apps, and an agency. So you've got several different ones here. You can basically preview these you can kind of see, okay, here are the different pages that are in this funnel. Um, I could see, hey, here's the opt-in page, a thank you. Then they've got a replay page and a checkout page. Fairly straightforward. If I preview this, I can see what this looks like. And this is my, my basic template that I now have the capability of editing. You know, I've got my headline, this cool green background, green button, terms of service, you know, anything else here that I'd want to edit. So I'm going to do create new and we'll just import that one. And I'm just going to call this like YouTube demo. 
And here I can select my own domain. I just made like um, a subdomain off ConvertTree. If you want to set it up on a, a full domain, they do have options for doing that. But right now I'm just going to do it on their own subdomain. And once I've got this in here, I can now go in and edit these pages. But it kind of gives you options like, you know, maybe if I wanted the opt-in page to instead just as soon as they opt in, maybe I want them to go to the replay page. I could take this out and take the thank you page completely out of it, delete this. And now I can change around how this whole funnel works. So it really is all up to you and how you want to do this. And again, it's very easy to visually see how they've done this. So that is something I really like. Um, you can set up split tests as well with the software. So if I want to test like different variations and split that traffic, you can do that. I know that's something ClickFunnels offers as well. Uh, in terms of editing these templates, again, very simple. Um, I just now have the ability to come in here and click any element and change any photos, text, images, all that stuff can be modified. Um, the other thing that I did want to point out is they do have a separate mobile view. So you can see here, this, this is the mobile version. Now, one of the things that I ran into as a problem was I did import some pages, which that in of itself is a really powerful functionality. But I found that when I was importing some of the mobile views, I did have some issues where I had to spend a lot of time, you know, like basically I'd have like this big white space and I'd have to basically drag entire elements or pieces of content all the way up just to try to get things to look good. Um, something that I didn't realize, which may be helpful for some of you if you decide to use the software, is I found that when it, basically doing a mobile version, some of the text looked way bigger. And when you go to edit this, you actually can't edit it in mobile because it's the same text that shows on desktop. So they have a functionality where you can actually go in and uh, I believe it's not in layers, but there's a section here where you can actually go in and you can edit the percentage of how much um, this is actually going to be shown. So I think it's in, I'm forgetting off the top of my head, but basically they have a setting where you can come in and you could change like how big this is going to be. And more or less, if you're not doing that, it's going to make it something where uh, it might not look that great. Uh, it's just like, you're going to have this huge text and it's going to look ridiculous. So I'll actually show you an example when we go back and we'll pull up one of my own funnels and you, you can kind of see because I didn't modify it on this one. Here's a sales page for my SEO consulting blueprint program. And this was actually again imported from Thrive Architect and they did a great job of that. Like almost all the elements and everything came over pretty smooth. But when I go to like the mobile version, you can see like some of this text, it's a little bit too big. And I was really wanting to come in here and maybe have some of this um, be just a little bit smaller. You can run a few different things where, you know, you could have a separate version of the content. You can say, hey, you know, make a copy of this and then only show this on the mobile version. And uh, that's basically one workaround that I've managed to use. I've also hid certain elements that maybe just didn't look good. But ultimately, I was able to get most of this to come over into my mobile version and I didn't have too much issue. Um, I did have one problem with their builder where I modified one page and I was testing this with a partner where what ended up happening was um, when he went to the mobile version on his iPhone, he was unable to scroll down the mobile version. Like he was having a complete issue with that. So that was something that kind of scared me because it was like, hey, we're sending traffic to this page for people to buy something and he isn't even able to scroll on the page to get to the buy button. So imagine what was happening to other people, right? Like if 50% of our users that are going to that page are on an iPhone and they can't scroll, um, that's a real issue. So I was never able to figure out what that was, but again, it wasn't a template that they included. It was something that I like imported and was trying to modify. So that could have had something to do with it and causing a problem. So that's really been my only main issue with this was because of that problem, I had to go rebuild a sales page like in record time on like a Saturday um, using Thrive Architect because of the fact that my friend was having a problem and I didn't want that to be an issue with our sales. Um, other than that, I mean, I've overall been pretty happy with this. You can do some other cool things like they've got different page triggers like based on certain actions, like if someone tries to exit the page or they've been on the page for a certain amount of time, you could set up different behaviors and have other, other things basically happen on this page. So they've really thought of everything. Um, I think in terms of comparison of how it might stack up against like a ClickFunnels or a Thrive Architect, um, I'd say the biggest advantage is going to be the editor itself is much better, in my opinion, than both ClickFunnels and Thrive Architect. 
Um, the speed of the software is much better than both of those platforms as well, so your page load time is gonna be way faster. And then you've also got uh, the capability where in a lot of cases, this is something that, um, you know, it, it's just very simple to get started with, right? Like you don't have to get too complex with this. I'd say some of the cons are their templates are very, very basic. Um, they kind of get the job done, but I think the templates that are included with Thrive Architect and ClickFunnels are definitely, they have a lot more of them first off, and there's a little bit more variety in the types of things that they're offering. So if you're looking for templates and stuff that's kind of done for you, already out of the box, this probably isn't gonna be you know the best in terms of templates. Um, some of the other cool functionalities that they do have, and really you could get this from some of the other tools, is you can actually set up like different team accounts, um, sub accounts, things like that. They do have a WordPress plugin, which is very easy to deploy the pages on. You just take your converter URL and put it into your WordPress page. Um, they do have some integrations with some of the most popular platforms. You can integrate all the major autoresponders, like I have my active campaign set up with it. Um, they have webinar integrations with some of the popular tools as well as payment processors. Um, I ended up hooking up my Thrive Cart account, which is what I use for my payment processing, and that allowed me to kind of bypass their own internal cart system, so I haven't really had a chance to test that, but I do know that Thrive Cart has way more functionality than what I could see they had in terms of their own cart solution. Um, overall, I mean, it's fairly easy enough to kind of go through the list and see what's going on with each of the funnels. Um, if I want to see, like, if we take this one, for example, um, I could clone the funnel, I could share it with other people. And I would say another thing that I've found to be extremely beneficial is that you can import pages as I was talking about. Um, so we could do a little demo of that. Why don't we take, if we literally go to clickfunnels.com, um, I can take this page and if I do import funnel, um, you can actually come in here and let me do, let's see, create a funnel from scratch. I think there's a way that, here we go. So we'll just say new, use my domain, and you can do this import page. So um, you can either enter a shared code, which is basically another converter URL, or you can import from an external URL. So um, you have to confirm that you do have permission to do this. Don't just go around like stealing people's pages. Um, but I'm gonna call this like ClickFunnels test just to show you guys. And if we hit import, this thing is literally gonna download the entire ClickFunnels.com homepage, and it's gonna import it into Convertry, and I'm gonna be able to start editing it inside of Convertry. So this may take a quick minute, um, I figure what I'll do to kind of wrap this up is give you guys a little bit of a comparison in terms of, you know, like pricing and things like that. So if you were to get something like ClickFunnels, um, if we do, we'll do like ClickFunnels pricing, I don't know if they have like a page that's dedicated to this. Here's some guy's article on it. Let's see. Mainly they have the $97 a month plan and then they have the $297 a month plan. Um, Convertry, their pricing is basically they have a standard version, a pro version and an agency version. So depending on what you get, um, you do get some limitations in terms of like templates. So I do see it says they've, they've got a lot more on their um, templates if you do the agency version, but I have the agency version and I don't see that. So that was something I'm not sure if maybe I just don't have it. You get the sub accounts um, and then they do have this dynamic text replacement feature. I haven't played around with that much, um, but generally just getting started with this, you're looking at about 60 bucks a month and you can create up to 50 funnels with over 25,000 impressions. So um, this is more than enough to get started and that's a little bit more competitive than the 97 you'd be paying with ClickFunnels. Now, if you went with something like a Thrive Architect, you're looking at, um, I believe, we'll do a quick search. I don't wanna quote their pricing because it's been a little while. Depending on what you do, they do have different versions of this, right? You can do their membership, which includes like all their other tools. Um, and then they've also got, um, this is for their membership. And you can also buy specific products. So if I just wanna buy like Thrive Architect, that is an option and I'm just gonna go through. So here's kind of the different versions. So you can either do that membership, which is 19 bucks a month. So obviously you're getting the best deal price wise with all their other tools or you can buy five licenses for 97 or a single site license for 67. So once you buy that license, you own it forever. So in terms of pricing, 
Thrive Architect is a much better deal. Again, it does sit on top of WordPress, so you will need WordPress hosting and all that other stuff, whereas with ClickFunnels and Convertry, they're their own solo hosted platforms where you do not need to go and buy hosting or domains or any of that stuff. You could start using them right away with their own software. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, here you can see, I just pulled in my import. So let's see how this kind of looks. Again, I don't know if it's gonna do all the media and everything, but you can see the bulk of this actually was pulled in. So um, there's a few things that didn't quite show up, but it's easy enough. Like if I wanna move this stuff, I can just literally highlight and start moving these buttons and different elements. So you can see here, I can you know start your free trial. There it is, I just moved it. Um, this obviously isn't gonna function because this is like a survey. Um, all the different elements though, in terms of like text and HTML and fonts, all this stuff literally just pulled all right in. Here's my video image. Um, and you can see almost, almost everything imported, um, without too, too much issue. Like there's very little here. It looks like mostly the button, um, you know, had a little bit of issues. There's a couple things here like this G seems to be lowercase. And then some of the stuff at the bottom here got a little messed up, but overall did a pretty good job at converting this. And then if we look at the mobile version, um, you can see we've now got like this mobile version that, that came in and it also did a fairly good job of pulling this for what it is. But here was some of what I was talking about. Like this is the text, like, you know, obviously you're gonna wanna shrink that for a mobile version. Um, so, I mean, there's gonna be some things that just aren't gonna look 100%. So again, this is, um, you know, a good comparison I wanted to give you guys. I'd say overall, if you're looking for a tool, you're looking to save money, Thrive Architect is a great way to go. If you're looking for something that, you know, you just need to build some basic pages and you're looking for something really ultra fast, I think Convertry is a great way to go. In terms of ClickFunnels, um, they have some advantages in terms of just their community and a lot of like what Russell Brunson brings to the table in terms of, you know, he's got their live events and all the other things that they're doing and there's a lot of training that he provides and just other things I think that um, the ClickFunnels community sort of brings that maybe Convertry isn't so much doing. Um, you know, and I think that there's more of a, a branding behind Russell, whereas Convertry is just a tool. So really, I would say, um, if you're looking to just get started and you, you do have some money to spend, I think Convertry definitely is a really good option at the standard and, uh, you can't go wrong with it. So hope this helps you guys make your decision on landing page tools. And, uh, again, thanks for watching.